Hey everybody, this is Benjamin Roberts with Rock the Registry, teaching you how to think like a test maker, not a test taker. And if you haven't already, I want you to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and, and mash the bell notification so you don't miss anything. I'm starting a new uh, series now looking at how to evaluate radiographic images. I'm really excited about that. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's, let's go on in here. Um, oh, and I should announce, I've, I've had a chance to go ahead and do the audiobook version of Two Months to Mastery. So it's out there, it's available. Um, I'll have a link uh, down below, um, but you may want to check that out if you're interested in learning more about how to ace pretty much any registry exam, not just the x-ray, but I've used this method for CT and for uh, radiation therapy as well. So let's talk a little bit about the PA hand x-ray. First off, how do we evaluate? And I want to uh, send a shout out to Wiki Radiography, where I'm getting many of these images from. Um, they have a great bank of images, and I'll be using their images quite a bit. And I'll make sure to include citations down below for anything that I use from their website. Um, but when we're looking at the PA hand x-ray, one of the most central things that we consider is where is the central ray enter the anatomy, and that's at the third MCP. Pretty much if you, if you have the center ray, central ray entering at the third uh, metacarpal phalangeal joint, then you are good to go. Um, it's helpful to have memorized uh, much of the anatomy here, um, and it's also helpful to be able to recite some of the wrist bones, and so we'll talk some more about mnemonics for that. Evidence of proper collimation will include pretty much everything from the distal phalanx to the distal radius and ulna. Um, there should be no soft tissue overlap between the digits, so the fingers are equally spaced out if the patient can uh, allow for that. And then one thing that we can do to evaluate to make sure that there is no obliquity of uh, the second through the fifth uh, digits is that there's an equal concavity uh, between the metacarpal and phalangeal bodies. So they look equally kind of uh, concave on either side. You'll notice the first digit has, um, it does not look equally concave on either side of, for example, the, the distal phalanx. And the reason for that is, is because it is seen more or less in an oblique view when we're doing the PA. So hopefully this is helpful. Thank you all so much. And it felt appropriate where I'm talking about the, uh, the PA hand x-ray with this first video to give a shout out to uh, some folks that I got a chance to meet just last week. Uh, director Doug Rowland um, produced this film, Feeling Through. I'll have a link down below. Highly recommend you check it out. It has the first... Um, Deaf-blind actor, his name's Robert Tarango, who stars in the movie. He's really amazing. I just, I loved every minute of him being on the screen. And I think, particularly if we're educators, this is a, this film offers us a great opportunity to discuss unique patient care considerations for patients who are deaf and blind. So thank y'all so much, and I'll see you around.